All right, let's wire this baby up and test it. So, got my wires. Oh, we're going to need some flux. Rosin paste. There are people who attempt to solder without flux. I don't know how they do it. Um, remember what I said. Acid is for mechanical. Rosin is for electrical. Okay, now on my little board here. <clears throat> it's already tinned. Just going to take my tweezers here. Okay, well, let's get some solder out here where we can get to it. Now here, I'll show you a little trick. Take one of these guys. There. Now I need some solder. I can just grab some. Okay. Now let's take this wire. Let's take this red one. Now I'm leaving a little excess here, as you can see. We're going to tape that up so it doesn't get caught later. I should be able to just touch and go. Mm-hmm. There's a good one. All right, let's pull this one around. Very nice. Let's go ahead and flip her around. Let's make sure we don't melt any parts accidentally. This wire is a little on the long side. But we'll live. We'll live with it. Alright. No need to backhand it. And that is exactly what I did not want to happen, but it happens anyways, is the motor mount. Alright, there we go. So, should we try it? Should we see if this baby fires up? All right, let's give it some juice. Let's get it on here. Red wire's facing to me. Let's get it on the track. Let's get it where you can see it. Let's fire this baby up. Let's see if it runs. Now, did we get a charge? Yes, we did too. Now that, it hasn't been quite setting up for an hour, so I don't really want to put a bunch of torque into it. But I just want to make sure that I don't hear any strange sounds I shouldn't hear. As the Mag 1 lube gets going, worked in, it'll start getting smoother and quieter. Not bad. Okay, what are we going to do with these extra wires now? I'm going to show you. You remember how it had all the plastic brackets in there? And we got rid of them? Because all those plastic brackets do is make it look way more complicated than it is. And it gets worse if you've got one of those wired plastic boards in there too. When we did that RSD... 12, there was a bunch of wired boards in there, which was totally unnecessary. Ah, oh, yes, now, I'll show you, for those of you who have not seen it before, I got this scissors at Joann's for like a dollar twenty. I don't know what, what in the heck did I do before I got that scissors? This little precision Craftsmart, no, okay, Craftsmart, so it came from Michael's. It was a dollar twenty. And... I use it to cut decals and stuff. But my flush cutter is just a little short on this electrical tape. So let's go ahead and lay our wires on here nice and neat. And tape them together like that. And then snip off like that. There we go. Sweet. Look how clean that is. Remember when I had them plastic bracket brackets on there? And 
scares people to think that, oh no, I can't. It only scares people because you don't see exactly what's going on under the hood. All right, so nice and neat a little ways back here. Well, what we don't want to do is have the flywheel grab onto the wires and then they get shoved into the side of the shell and that causes a problem. So let's uh, wire that up nice and neat like that. And get the tape to stick to itself and we'll just trim it a little bit. Mm -hmm. There, nice and neat. Now, there's still a lot of play here. See that? That's not that great. When we start putting the shell on, when we start getting down to the shell, might get another piece of tape here, another piece of tape there. That's a possibility. If it was really bad, I would take a piece of styrene like this and I'd make a long cover and I'd, I'd tape it on there. That way, when you look at this again underneath, when you look under the hood, you'll still see that it's very straightforward, very simple. That there, that is going to be getting this guy here, who's just about ready. And we're going to have that. Nothing complex about that. It only looks complicated until you get her all torn apart. And then you put it back together, you are good to go.